Yo, what is up everybody? Fulcrum here. I hope you have all been doing well. I'm back again with another video here. It's been a little while since my last one. Um, I want to keep the intro pretty short so I'll keep this brief, but basically I just had to take a little step back from making content there for a while. Nothing serious, basically just had to get everything in order over here. So we are back now, back making videos. I'm super excited to get this full video out for you guys. It is a Argyle flag match. Really fun match. Um, it's kind of stalematey throughout, but I get some really good snipe kills. Super fun match, so let's hop into it. Alright, so off the start here, we've got Mr. Epic Beast, who you'll see all the time here on the channel, Evil Monkeys, who is someone we've been playing with quite a bit recently, and Vibrant Ninjas, who is new to me. So I pick up this first kill with the pistol, I go ahead and take their snipe, which is huge. Again, we're just playing for mid-map control here, kind of trying to figure out what the enemy team is doing, where they're at, and through that we can pick up some map control here. First snipe of the game there. I've got their snipe, and I believe Beast has ours, so we've got both snipes on the map here. Yeah, there we go. There's the other snipe right there. Get this clean up here. And this was a bad play by me there. I shouldn't have died from that. I kind of wasn't expecting that guy to reach out, but he throws a really good nade and takes me down. But Evil Monkeys does get the cleanup. Again, pushing out here, taking mid map control getting equipment, just just picking up things all over the map here, trying to get some control. Getting callouts, they're pushing through our pistol side, and one snuck through our screens here. You surprised me, but we do come up with the kill. I'm one shot, so I just gotta duck away, get my shields back. And we do have two on spawn now, so we've gotta kinda slow this push. Make sure that they don't sneak into our side through pistol. Alright, we got all four up. We're now pushing into their side. Get a nice surprise kill on that guy, but he throws a good nade. And this is another dumb death by me there. I shouldn't have pushed that kill. I was low shields. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to, to poke out there, but I did. And pay the price for it. But, off spawn, I get our fresh snipe. We do have two down here, so I try to push up and save Beast if I can. But he goes down. They get a pull on our flag, so I go ahead and pull back. Get the snipe on their flag carrier. Go ahead and stop that push dead in its tracks. A little bit shaky on the shots there, but I straighten it up to take that guy down. And looks like my teammates on the other side of the map are getting that return. But we do still have people on our pistol side, getting callouts here for our pistol. I am holding this angle for a while, but I'm making sure to hold on this pillar so I can't get shot from long haul behind me. I pick up one on our pistol and get the body shot on the other, so I know he's one shot over there. I'm calling that out to Beast. He does get the cleanup. I get one shot again here, so I'm just getting my shields before I reach out. And I do have snipe again here. This is one of my favorite places to snipe on this map. Almost able to hit the sweep shot there, but don't quite get it that time. Beast calling out for help here. I try to do what I can to save him. But there are two more that sneak up here and take him down. We do get both of them. They both go down. Miss the easy clamber here. But again, we're still fighting for mid-map control. Argyle is a huge map. Get a body shot on one of their snipe there, so we are taking some control. We're pushing up here, trying to get a flag pull if we can. Our items in I'm hearing nades behind us, so I know there's someone in mid. And just classic terrible shots by me there. Uh, classic windmill. And uh, lose the snipe there. Probably didn't need to go up and look for grapple, but it's good to share with your teammates, so. Want to share the love, share the weapons. 
but I do have teammates going down here and they're coming through our pistol. I get this guy one shot, but he gets a really good body shot on me here and actually gets the kill. That was a huge kill by that guy. So two coming through our snipe here it looks like. I think we only got one there and Evil Monkeys cleans up the second. And now they're sneaking through our pistol. So again, we're just fighting for mid-map control here. Wrath, again, piving me there. He had my number at this point. And they are kind of pushing up into our side at this point in the game, but we're getting some good kills. One more here on our snipe door. Probably should have just shot that guy, but it's okay. He doesn't get the kill on Beast. We take him down, and I get our fresh snipe. And we do have numbers here, so we're pushing up into the middle of the map again, just getting some control. Nice snipe shot on that guy, and there's one more one shot here, Beast is calling out. Take him down, almost get the triple kill there, but not quite. And you'll notice I jump across to their pistol side here. What I'm doing here is blocking spawns. This ensures that nobody will spawn on their pistol. Basically, I'm trapping them all on their snipe right now. And we've got evil monkeys in their base, so they're not going to spawn back base either. So this is a really huge moment for our team here. I think this is the best uh, moment throughout the game for our team. Again, just control in their side of the map here completely. There's nothing they can do to, to stop that cat. That was really good play by us there. We controlled the spawns, knew where they were coming from, simplified the equation, and got the cap. So this person pushed up. I wasn't expecting them to be pushed all the way up here, but they were. We do get the kill. So they went for a little bit of a flagpole there, we do take them down. Still one mid here that I'm getting called out for. Get the snipe there, one more their top snipe here. I think I would have gotten that kill there, but one more snuck up right behind me and took me down. So we don't get the kill there on their top snipe. But we are up 1-0, there's 4 minutes left in the game here, so we're looking good at this point. Still pushing up, trying to get another cap here. You don't want to just leave it at one cap. I'm never comfortable with that. Guy weak here on our pistol. Take him down. And they do get a pull here, so I'm just pulling back. Trying to cut this pull off, see if I can kill this flag carrier. Get damage, and I'm calling him out. Um, but we were a little late to get this kill. He actually repulsed back up. And we do end up taking him down, so it's no big deal. But I think we were a little late on that. We probably could have taken them down a little bit earlier there. But no harm, no foul. I again have their snipe here. And I'm not sure what my thought process was here about coming back around our elbow. I probably should have just pushed up into the mid-map. Um, we had kills there. So I think it was a good opportunity to get some mid-map control, but either way, we're getting kills. They are still kind of pushing up to our side here, so... We both get each other one shot there. I was expecting them to chase, but they don't. So I'm able to nestle down here in bottom mid, get my shields back. And my teammates do take down that guy, S2. Another good snipe there, but they are pulling our flag. I get the body shot there to get their flag carrier one shot, but we don't quite get the shot there to take him down. And then you'll hear the sound there, we do kill him there. Really nice shot there to take down that guy. And there's a little bit of a breakdown here. I throw a plasma, monkeys jumps into it and gets killed, which is very unfortunate. And this is just a huge misplay by me here. I get that guy weak on their screens, and we have a weirdly timed pull there, so I look away, I kind of leave Beast on his own, and he gets taken down. That person that was nearly one-shot pushes up into our pistol. I do end up taking him down, but I get sniped in the back there, so they are now pushing into our side heavily. Um, again, that was 
a misplay by me. I looked away at the wrong time, and we just lost control there. But we are still getting kills. Um, looks like they weren't quite able to get the flagpole on that push, but they are still on our side. And now I know they're sniping on our pistol. I want to push up and get this kill. A little bit shaky on the needler shots there, but I do take them down. And they are pushing our side really heavily here. I'm getting callouts for our S2. So I go up here to try and check our S2. And I just get absolutely blamed for my pistol. Somebody sniping on our pistol takes me down there and that leaves Beast by himself. He is last up here and they are running our flag. So that was just a super unfortunate we time team wipe. We all go down there and they get a really big pull on our flag. They get it halfway across the map. And I'm just getting desperate here. I don't need to be pushing this heavily. Um, I kind of just throw myself out there and get killed. I get taken down and they cap the flag. The game went into overtime. It was kind of a long and boring overtime, but we did come away with the win. We won it in overtime 2-1. Um, you'll see I'm rolling up stats here on the screen. You can kind of look and see everybody in the game's stats, how everybody did, and just what the numbers looked like. But yeah, that was CTF on Argyle. It was a really fun game, really back and forth. Towards the end of it there, I was getting super concerned uh, for obvious reasons, but we were able to clutch it up. We came away with the win in overtime, and yeah, it was a great game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to do more of these full form videos more frequently. Um, I enjoy doing them. The editing process is obviously a lot more than shorts, but it's really fun. Um, and again, thank you guys so much for watching as always. I really appreciate it. Be sure to check in for the next one and have a great night, day, whatever it is for you. See you everybody. Thanks again.